welcome back to the channel. While we have been having fun with the Tesla Model S Plaid for about eight months now, the delayed, refreshed Model Xs are finally hitting the street, and that includes the 1,020 horsepower Plaid Edition, which, as I'm about to show you, is the quickest and most powerful SUV in the world. Now, when I say quickest and most powerful, I do not need to add any qualifiers to this statement. I thought it was a bit funny a few weeks ago when Aston Martin did a press release on their DBX 707 stating that it was the most powerful SUV in the world, obviously snubbing the Model X Plaid as well as the Jeep Trackhawk. Now, they did add a term luxury SUV in their press release, and while that's quite an ambiguous term to use at best, maybe they should have called it the most powerful SUV built in the UK with five seats and entertainment tech from a 10 year old Mercedes. Thoughts? Anyways, in this video, we rented the drag strip just for this test to set the new world record for the quickest production SUV to 60 miles an hour and down the quarter mile. And while track rolls are expensive, ceramic coating your car with armor shield from Avalon King isn't. Gone are the days of waxing your car over and over again to keep it protected from the elements and keeping your paint in pristine condition. Armor Shield do-it-yourself ceramic coating kit offers nanotechnology to protect your car from acid rain, bird droppings, tree sap, and those harmful UV rays that can dull your car's finish. I use it on my windshield as well, and the rain just glides off, no wipers even needed. They also offer prep products to prepare your car for the coating and maintenance sprays to keep your coating in great shape over the years it will protect your car. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and has always wanted amazing protection the ceramic coating offers, but didn't want to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars this is for you. In just a few hours, you can protect your car using the Armor Shield kit and keep your car protected for two to five years. They offer 30 day returns, a two year warranty, and with the Drag Times 25 code, you can save $25 off your order. Link in the description. Now, onto the Model X Plaid testing. And stick around to the end of the video because I got some pretty incredible previews to show you what we have coming next. We got Plaid X versus 992 Turbo S and Huracan Evo. Thanks for watching. We're out at Palm Beach International Raceway. Chris brought a Tesla Model X Plaid. And we're about to be the first ones to take it down. The real drag strip, we've seen some draggy data. You do were the first one to drag it, right? Yes. So if you saw the draggy, I did a little teaser on Instagram. And I ran 9.8 on the street. 9.83 and also 9.82. Yeah, on the street. Now we're out here at the drag strip. He's got the 20 inch wheels, which are actually better because they're a little bit lighter. And uh, we're out here, this is the most powerful and the quickest SUV in the world. We're about to test it out, get the first rear wheel numbers. I got the V-Box, the Draggy, everything set up. And then we got some other cars out here to play with. My Huracan Evo and the H. Greg Lux guys, Marcos and Max brought out a Turbo S, 992 Turbo S versus Tesla Plaid. You know, we got the SUV of uh, family cars versus the quickest Porsche currently made. That's gonna be a lot of fun too, but first up, we're gonna jump in the Model X and go for the record, solo passes, and let's see what we get. We got the V-Box, we'll get 60 to 130, 100, 150 data. Jimmy, what do you think? What do you think is gonna run? What's your the, guess? The plan? Yeah. Um, I'm thinking it's gonna be a 9.7. 9.7 at 146, 140, 147? Yeah, 146, 147. All right. I mean, 100% battery, right? I'm going with 9.68. Ooh. I'm going for nine sixes. A little risky. I think if it's scale, if it's 147, yeah, I mean, the thing should. It should. I mean, it did 9.8 on the street, yeah. right? I know it launches softer than the Model S, uh, but I know they can make it faster. I think they're just playing it safe right probably. now. The brakes, I mean? probably. Yeah, the brakes, probably. Yeah, the brakes. It's probably heavier than the Model S for sure. We got it warmed up in the plaid drag strip mode right now. So you can see we got the 20 inch wheels. This is the six seat configuration white interior uh and it looks great i mean look at this can't wait we got everything set up and we are ready to go model x plaid 1020 horsepower and this thing is just going to be so much fun to give it a first test let's jump in i think the track is just about ready and we'll give it a first test down the quarter mile all right so here we go model x plaid first real drag strip run now this has cheetah mode, so we're gonna go into the full cheetah mode as well. Cheetah mode, we are dropping down. Let's see what it does, preparing for launch. Here we go. Oh. 
15960 footer. Wow, 97. That's a new record. It doesn't feel as fast as the Plaid S, but it's definitely moving pretty fast. Five nine sixty footer. It doesn't feel as fast as the plaid S, yes, but it's definitely moving pretty fast. One five nine sixty footer. It doesn't feel as fast as the plaid S, yes, but it's definitely moving pretty fast. Zero to sixty. 2.36 seconds on the V-Box. Wow, quarter mile. All right, there we go, first pass. 9.75, 144.88. Now usually the subsequent runs are a little faster. Let's give it one more test and see what it does. So Tesla actually says this car does zero to 60 in 2.5, and we just did 2.3 seconds to 60. What a car. And the launch definitely doesn't hit as hard as the Model S. And I feel like they can release some software updates later on and make this thing really fly. There you go. Well, there World's you go. The quickest SUV by far, 9.75, 144.8. Wow. Now he did 146. So what happens is when the battery gets a little hotter, I think it picks up a little performance. So I'm going to give it a little rate. It doesn't Let even need a rest. Let me look at the 60 foot. The 60 159. Foot, yeah, that's kind of sloppy. It like, is. Yeah, it doesn't feel that strong coming yeah, up. Yeah, it, it looked like a little sloppy. So there's a lot of room there. A lot of room. Yeah. Definitely a 9.5 car with a little better launch. 100%. But wow. This thing hits 0 to 60, 2.3 seconds. Same. 2.3 to 60. This huge SUV. Wow. That said six people. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so one more. Do another run. It usually gets a little faster when the battery's a little warmer. 5.2 seconds, 60 to 130. That is McLaren 720S speed. This thing is just insane. Let's see if we could do a little better than that 9.7 and 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds. Let's see what we got here. Now, when we race the Porsche, we're not to be able to sit here and wait for launch mode, but we're going to do it this time. Let's go. That felt faster. I guess the timing didn't work. Huh. Zero to 60 again, 2.3 seconds. Let's hopefully get the more top end on this run and get a little better. And there we go. I think we did better. It was 9.78 on the V-Box. But I don't know if that's enough for a 9.6 quarter mile pass. Slower up to 62.4. What happened? No time? The time didn't work. He just reset the thing. Yeah. Go run it again? I mean, I got better. 91. Sure. You want to run it one more time? I guess so. How much better was it? 975 on this, so it could have been yeah. a 96. Yeah. All right, third run. The yeah. Well, that didn't work again. All right, so quick recap of the Tesla Model X Plaid testing. Unfortunately, the track had a couple of timing issues. We were very limited on time. I only rented the track for one hour. It's pretty expensive, and I wanted to get the races done that you're gonna see right now. I'm gonna give you a couple of previews of the 992 Turbo S and Huracan Evo going up against the six-seater Model X Plaid. However, I do feel like we got better times on the Draggy and the V-Box on the next two runs because the Tesla's tend to do a little better on runs two and three when starting from 100% state of charge. So I'm pretty sure, well, I have no question, someone's gonna get a 9.6 stock out of the Tesla Model X. We're gonna try again, I think, in 
two weeks and give it another shot to see what happens. Nevertheless, Model X Plaid 60 to 130 is in 5.2 seconds and it runs 9.7 the quarter mile. That is what my McLaren 720S ran when I first debuted a couple years ago and people were going absolutely nuts about how fast that 720S is. Now this all electric SUV can match that, probably beat the McLaren 720S nine out of 10 times because it takes quite a bit of good traction and conditions to get the McLaren to go that fast. Nevertheless, let's roll into the previews of a 992 Turbo S and the Huracan Evo versus the Model X. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you back in the next video.